What's up, guys? So apparently, there's this uh, wrestling TV show. Um, this no, I guess it was some type of promotion or channel called Vice TV, and apparently they does like different like documentaries of wrestling from the old days and stuff like that. So, in this trailer, this is called Tales from the Territory. So I'm guessing this is talking about you know. Um, the old days or back in the day they have different types of wrestling wrestling territories it wasn't just wwf or it wasn't just wcw i mean you had new japan pro wrestling you had memphis memphis wrestling you had um awa you name it i mean it was there was different whole bunch of oh and there was another one another wrestling uh promoter out promotion out there wrestling organization or territories excuse my French, wrestling territory that I cannot remember exactly where it was. I know it was Texas Wrestling or something like that, but I know that the Von Ayers were there. I know that, I think it was called, well, I know one of them was called World, World Class Wrestling, which, you know, eventually was WCW World Championship Wrestling. But I know the Von Ayers were there. Percy Pringles was there. I'm trying to remember it, but anyway, if I if I come across to it, I'll I'll spread it spread it out. But I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Is you know, I I, I if it's for some reason it's escaping. But anyway, before we check this trailer out, if you have not done so, make sure you all subscribe to this channel so that way I can provide more content for you guys. I remember you make sure you keep that notification bell on so that way you don't miss any videos that I upload. Now, why don't we go ahead and check this trailer out? This is where it all began. Canvas, rope, and steel. The fabled squared circle. Travel to the golden age of professional wrestling. When the industry was divided into local territories. When wrestlers lived and breathed their characters. Come on, seven, Risked their lives to protect the wrestling business. And fought for real. Inside and outside of the ring. It was the wild, wild west of pro wrestling. You know wow, man, do have no idea where they came from. Bone chilling tales of triumph, violence, and perseverance told by the legends who live them. Next time when you kill the son of a bitch, my dad stretched the shit. The hitman, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Yours truly, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Danny Garcia, and the creators of Dark Side of the Ring. These. Dark Side of the Ring, that's what the title, that's what the program is called. And I gotta remember that. That's crazy. I'm gonna end it there. I don't know why I didn't. I, I don't know why I didn't uh, think of that before. I should have called it. It was Dark Side of the Ring. It was crazy because I watched different programs of you know different episodes of it. I watched the you know the, the episodes where they're talking about Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero. I watched the part with Owen Hart's. I talked you know and. And I'm on other things. I haven't, I haven't watched the Plying Ring from Hell yet. I haven't watched that episode yet. But I can see that I, based on what I dug up and researched, apparently The Rock and his Seven Bucks production, apparently he's, you know, he does a team with uh, the, the plate, the, I can't even talk. Jesus, man. I keep forgetting the damn title, man. The, the, the TV series. Uh, Damn it, and it's just right there, for one I ain't got it all, man. No, oh, I ain't going on. Dark Side of the Ring, there you go. Uh, I, I, it's funny, because I just said it earlier, and then I forget. I'm having those little Joe Biden moments. But anyway, um, nice political joke there. Um, it seems like they both, like, they just basically just, you know, they teamed up, so that way they can do... They can talk about the old days of the wrestling days, you know, with Rocky Johnson and IT Freedom Idea, and then Mad Dog and Brian Eriks and Bret Hart and Butcher and uh, you name it. So I'm interested to see, you know, how it is. I, I love Tell You the Truth, man. I love wrestling documentaries, man. I like those type of documentaries. Not with The Rock, with how The Rock did, with the, like, the Young Rock shit that he did. I didn't like it. To me, I find, like, I get where he was going, like he wanted to make it like entertaining. But listen, man, 
wrestling documentary was entertaining. Uh, this a documentary period was entertaining enough for me. And I don't like that sitcom type of shit where it's just all corny and everything. This wasn't my style. I like. I like wrestling documentaries where they talk about the reality and, you know, just them talking about how it was back in the day and stories and, you know, they you see different pictures from what it was and what they used to look like and how, how it was back in the day or different video clips of it. Like, I like those. Those, to me, they're more realistic than what The Rock put out. And I love The Rock with them. I love it. The Rock is one of the greatest, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. One of, or one of the greatest wrestling fan, wrestling superstars of all time, whatever you want to call it. I just say wrestlers for respect, you know. You know, in my opinion, he probably might maybe top three or four. I mean, he, he's not knocking off Undertaker and, and Steve Austin for me. No way in hell. But anyway, um, you know, but he is, you know, he's, you know, I am a big fan of The Rock. No good, no good twisted, but. I just didn't like the the series Young Rock. I thought it was, you know. I, I tell you the truth, I actually like the there was another documentary of The Rock years ago, I think it was like or ten years ago. I, I think they called My Journey as The Rock. I like that one. Because it because it's, it talked about what I said earlier, what I said before, where it talked about, you know, basically the rock doing like a different interview doing the interview. On the time when he was wrestling, you know, the time when he first started wrestling, to the time he became Hollywood, and then you know you see him with different pictures of him, and then little screenshots of what you know of of you know of what it was backstage and stuff. This kind of reminds me of the documentary called Beyond the Mat. If you have not seen that wrestling documentary Beyond the Mat, oh my god. You should go check it out. Hell, you can look it up on YouTube. It's free. You can look it up on YouTube. You don't even have to look it up at, at, at on Amazon Prime or whatever. Let me tell you, man. Like I said, you know, as I said before, that will explain to you of the brutality that these wrestlers go through day in and day out. That's all I'm gonna leave it there. That's basically what the the documentary is, and it kind of gets you the clips of what they go through day in and day out. Especially back in those days. So check it out if you have not done so. You know. Oh man. So are you guys going to check out Tales from the Territories? I might go ahead and, you know, give it a shot and check it out. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, shit, I love wrestling. So I might as well got to check it out. So maybe I do a review on it. Maybe. So, you know, stay tuned for that. So, but what about you guys? Are you guys going to check it out or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can do me a solid favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash that share button. And remember, you make sure you keep that notification bell on so that way you don't miss any videos that are uploaded. All right, guys. Well, until next time, peace out. Yeah!